Good morning, everyone. Um, I founded a few years ago the Bridge Foundation, well, quite a few years ago, almost a decade ago, and we work with young people in Canada, in Switzerland, and in Poland, and we coach them, we educate them on global issues. So the global challenges that we're trying to address here in education is at the center of it. When we told our uh, young students, and those are students that are finishing high school, going to university next year, so typically they're between 17, 18, 19 years old, and uh, when we told them that we were coming to Dubrovnik, to a conference of the World Academy of Art and Science, um, to talk about the future of democracy, they were very keen on providing their inputs. And so we have a little film that is just one minute long. It is in Polish with subtitles, and the beginning is silent, so it's not a mistake if you don't hear anything. But please, let's, let's roll. Demokracja to przywilej i odpowiedzialność. Jako młodzież chcemy być jej częścią. Pragniemy czynnie uczestniczyć w życiu społecznym naszego kraju. Branie udziału w wyborach i angażowanie się w życie polityczne jest obowiązkiem każdego z nas. Dla nas, młodych ludzi, demokracja to Pokój, głos większości Równość, wolność, zaangażowanie społeczne Ludzie, Ateny, wybory, sprawiedliwość, młodzież. Demokracja to przywilej i odpowiedzialność. Przyszłość demokracji leży w naszych rękach. A czym dla Ciebie jest demokracja? This is the talent, the abilities, the capacity of young people to actually produce something that is, that is quite extraordinary. We only gave them uh, as instruction, you know, the future of democracy, prepare something. This is the, the output provided by one of the schools, one of the schools. And then we work with 20 different high schools from all over the country. And the other schools worked on a survey and they surveyed a, a thousand young people aged between 16 and 19 and they provided the, the following results. Okay, well, f firstly, 1.8 billion young people around the world. Uh, in some countries, 70% of the population are young people, so the voice of young people is very important, and the future of democracy depends on them. Hence, what do young people think? Democracy in one word, for them, it means freedom, and this is the number one word that came out from about 15 different surveys, freedom. Democracy is freedom for them. Then it's equality. And equality comes back all the time, not only in this survey, but in other surveys, as something that is extremely important for young people, which doesn't necessarily mean equality of chances, but at least equality of access. And then it's up to them. But they need this, this access. Justice. Justice and strong institutions comes out also very as something that is very important to young people. Opportunity again, free and fair elections, and people. They think that democracy depends on people, and people should be at the center of it. So that's one of, one of the questions. In general, they do not know their local officials. At the city level, or at the regional level, uh, and even otherwise, this is not a topic that is being discussed in school so much, uh, with exceptions. This is also not something that is being discussed at home with their parents. So this is not something only that is linked to young people as such, but also to their families. These topics are not being discussed at home. However, they are quite engaged when it comes to volunteering, a cause that is important to them, an organization that is important to them. And in some places, 90% of these young people have actually volunteered their time for something that matters to them. So they are involved in their communities, but they don't consider themselves as being involved politically. 
they think that civic engagement is actually involvement in politics, but that volunteering for in school or, or in their community, that's something that's a little bit different. So that's the way they, they see it. They see a, a split between political activity, civic engagement, uh, and so on and so on. Now, the volunteering aspect I find very, very interesting. And these young people are going to university next year, so they're already preparing their applications. And as part of this application process, one very important uh, question for them is how engaged that they are. And so the volunteering is something that they have to put into as something that, that must feature prominently into their applications. And we are being told that grades are not as important as they used to be in the past, but that engagement and helping the community ranks very highly in terms of what universities expect from them. And so are they engaged in the community because they think it's important, or are they engaged in the community because it's necessary in order to enter into a good university? I think that's a very important question. And we see it from the people that, from the young people that we work with. Some of them are really engaged because they believe in what they're doing. And for many of them, it's also something that's a little more on, on the surface in order to, to look good uh, in their applications. So I think this is something that we uh, should seriously reflect on. What kind of education are we providing with these young people with? And if we want them to volunteer because it's important for them to enter into a good university versus do we really want them to engage civically and, uh, and in their community because they think it's important. So I, th I think that's quite, uh, quite significant. Marco, would you like to add something? Well, I guess, I guess that's it. This is the voice of young people here in Dubrovnik for the World Academy of Art and Science, and we thank you very much. Thank you.